Hi, it's Wednesday, March 22nd. The time is 7 p.m. I call this meeting to order. Will you please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's only with a room full of teachers that we have the right cadence for the Pledge of Allegiance. Welcome everybody. Item 1.04, approval of the agenda. May I have a motion? So moved. And a second. Second. Moved by Ms. Trejo, seconded by Mr. Lemon. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item passes 5-0. Item 2.01, approval modification of minutes from the March 8, 2023 governing board meeting. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Moved by Mr. Lemon and seconded by Ms. Ewers. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item passes 5-0. Now for the star of the show, item 3.01, presentation for the Excellence Awards. Ms. Franklin, would you please come up? Thank you, Madam President, members of the board. Um, good evening. Welcome to our 2023 Tempe Elementary Excellence Awards ceremony. My name is Brittany Franklin. I'm the director of our Strategic Partnerships and Communication Department. I'll kind of be your MC tonight, so you get me for quite a bit of time, so I'm sorry. But um, I'm really excited we're all here. It's been two years since we've conducted these awards in person. Um, so it's just an absolute joy and honor to be in front of you and to have you all here today. And thank you to the family and the friends and the colleagues and our TD3 community for showing up tonight. I'm just really happy we were able to do this. So um, the Tempe Elementary Excellence Awards allows our district to honor our employees that demonstrate excellence in the work that they do. Um, this year's awards encompass one winner from every Tempe Elementary School and every Tempe Elementary District Office location. So in total, we have 26 Excellence Award winners. Um, these individuals were all nominated by their peers, and then they were all also selected by their peers um, for being the epitome of our district theme, which is creating a legacy. So first, what we're gonna do is we will begin to showcase a video that we have produced um, showcasing all of our winners. Upon the completion of the video, I will then individually announce each winner and ask them to come up to receive their award and then we'll prepare for a group photo. Um, so with that, we'll start with our video. We'll meet all of our excellent individuals, kind of learn what they're doing and the amazing difference that they're making in the lives of our children and staff. Um, because we have 26, it's fairly long, get comfortable. We still have snacks in the lobby. If you wanna grab a cookie, we got water, macaroon. Um, so get comfortable, enjoy, and then I'll see you in a few. Lisa is an incredible office manager who inspires the entire Aguilar staff and community. Lisa's efforts allow for every member of Aguilar staff to focus on students and learning. Families can be at ease when their children are at school thanks to Lisa. She is always calm and positive and always has a smile or a kind word for everyone she meets throughout the day. Lisa is the definition of excellence. Caitlin inspires both teachers and students to reach their highest potential, both academically and professionally. She is both an exceptional teacher and a mentor. Caitlin has created a legacy of what it means to be an accomplished teacher whose passion is to consistently impact student learning. Said her colleague Amalia Steele, she has been the best mentor for me, both in pursuing national board certification and helping me become a better teacher. She is inspiring, kind, and dedicated to the profession. Gail has been a teacher at Broadmoor Elementary for 22 years. Gail has created a legacy of hard work and care for her students during her distinguished tenure. Gail is consistently helping students achieve at high levels and has made a real difference in the Broadmoor community. Gail has amazing attendance, shows flexibility and initiative, and is a collaborative teammate. 
Said her colleague, Andrea Wald, we are so lucky to have Gail on our staff. Her legacy will always be remembered here at Broadmoor. Gilbert has been a TD3 employee since 1997. He's been supporting our students, our community, and our employees for 25 years. Gilbert is the fleet manager in the transportation department at Brogan and is a critical part of Tempe Elementary as he oversees the district's vehicle maintenance, ensuring our vehicles are safe and ready for students and staff transportation. It's employees like Gilbert that make the district run so smoothly. He is always keeping staff attitudes high and that makes a lasting impact on those around him. has served the Tempe Elementary School District for almost 16 years. She has helped shape the PACE department in its policies and procedures, which will impact the department for years to come. She consistently goes above and beyond for the PACE teachers, making sure that they have the materials and guidance they need. She is a model of courtesy and professionalism, said her colleague Ariel Roller, Without her putting all the pieces together, we would not be the exceptional department that we are. Bonnie is an amazing teacher that has her students not just succeeding, but thriving in a difficult environment. Even in difficult times and dealing with extreme behaviors on a daily basis, she still has built amazing academic growth within her students and has created a meaningful bond with them. Bonnie's students constantly speak highly of her and love to share memories from their time in her classroom. She has already started to create her legacy of being a kind and positive teacher, as well as a teammate and staff member. She is someone that you can always count on. Deanna goes above and beyond because she not only teaches her students, but she constantly reflects on her own teaching so that every day she comes in a little bit better than the day before. She is a master teacher who continues to improve her practice based on her students and what they need. She takes the time to connect with her students, and when you walk into her class, you can feel those connections being made. You can see how much fun and enjoyment her students get out of learning math in her class. Michelle is more than just a school counselor. She is oftentimes the first important step for students struggling with emotional challenges to regain confidence in themselves and to remind them of their ability to overcome difficult things. Students and staff find comfort in Michelle's care and she has become a critical asset. No matter what the situation is, she always approaches it in a professional and loving manner. She is every student's strongest advocate and a guiding light for staff members during their most difficult times. Sarah is one of the most selfless teachers you will ever meet and know. She has been at FEES for four years and she has already made an impact on all of her students. Being a core class teacher, it can be difficult to get kids engaged in the curriculum, but Sarah doesn't have any issue getting kids interested in her class. Every day she has previous students coming back to see her and letting her know the difference she has made in their lives. She is truly one of a kind. Morgan is 100% committed to her students, colleagues, and the community. She is a true team player and never says no when asked if she can help out with something. She loves her school, her students, and her community. She is known as the teacher to send students to if they're having a bad day or behavior problems. Said her colleague Joshua Porter, she is cut from a different mold and deserves to be praised by her peers for her unwavering devotion to education. Nicole has been a part of TD3 for most of her life and has taught at Fuller Elementary for 26 years. 
she is a staple of the community, beginning her legacy as a student at Fuller. She makes deep connections with families and students and inspires them to be successful in their futures. She encourages students to dream big through her countless projects and community building ideas. Her laugh and sense of humor are infectious, but her heart is even bigger. Teresa is one of a kind and a class act. She has been serving Tempe children and families for over 21 years. Teresa not only impacts the learning and development of her children, but also has a tremendous impact on the Get School community. Teresa is a free spirit who genuinely cares about the well-being of others. She goes above and beyond her daily teaching duties to ensure that the learning community is balanced in mind, spirit, and positive energy. She is the definition of excellence. Jessica has been in the district for 20 years. Jessica works to help all students be successful in reading. She treats each staff member with dignity, and she is very patient no matter how busy or stressful her current day is, said her colleague John Gardner. Rarely do we acknowledge the contributions of dedicated staff working to help our students in school with major contributions toward excellence and is a positive influence to the entire Holdeman community. Juan embodies the theme of creating a legacy by going above and beyond to make sure each student's experience at McKamey is stellar. With being a smaller international baccalaureate school, she manages the many tasks and ensures that these tasks are completed with fidelity and timeliness. She works seamlessly with staff and students and always puts students' best interests in the forefront of her decisions. She is the glue that holds McKamey together as she is willing to do whatever it takes to ensure McKamey runs smoothly and provides a safe, friendly space for our students. Elizabeth is new to Meyer Montessori and TD3 this school year. However, that has not slowed her down in forming a legacy at Meyer. In one semester, she helped to spearhead Meyer's first winter music performance and crafted our music program into a fun, interactive, and meaningful learning program. Her positive attitude is contagious, and she is always there to help support whenever called upon. Elizabeth is not only a passionate educator, but also an an awesome human being. Nurse Heffernan exudes this year's theme. She has put her heart and soul into our district, taking care of our students and staff for nearly three decades. She is highly respected throughout the district as individuals from other schools and beyond contact Nurse Heffernan for advice, clarity, and wisdom. Anne's enthusiasm, sense of humor, and positivity contributes to the betterment of Mosley school culture. Said her colleague Raymond O'Brien, Nurse Anne is so incredibly loved and appreciated, and this award would be a token to commemorate her past and continued dedication to our students. Melissa embodies the theme, creating a legacy, with the way she has created her classroom to be a space of growth and progress. Her classroom is tailored to meet the individual needs of each of her students and provide a space where they grow in all areas. Her students know what to expect in the classroom and know they are loved and supported. Melissa is constantly adapting and creating new experiences for her students in order to provide them the best opportunities for success. Deb has dedicated 28 years to the Rover community. In her final year, she leaves behind the legacy she created with the contribution she has made to our school. Deb builds amazing relationships with her students and creates a loving and supportive classroom environment. Her students thrive both academically and socially year after year. 
In addition to supporting her students, Deb is an extremely supportive teammate and mentor to many Rover teachers. Deb is leaving behind her legacy at Rover and will greatly be missed. Brittany leaves a positive mark on everyone she talks to. She lights up the room when she walks in and her kindness is felt by all. Brittany gives the most effective communication to our TD3 staff and parents. Even with so much going on day to day, she remembers the smallest of details and it has not gone unnoticed. Said her colleague Jade Anderson, she is so deserving of the Excellence Award because of the amount of hours and effort she puts in. She is truly an amazing person. Jenny has been creating her legacy at Scales for the past 20 years. When you are in Miss Jenny's class, you are in her heart, you become her family, and she becomes yours. She has helped shape the school experience for our youngest and most high need students. She constantly mentors other SEALs teachers throughout the district and welcomes them. Our students would not be as successful as they are without her in their lives. She truly helps transform our kids into the best versions of themselves and does it with love, compassion, and a smile each and every day. Lenny is a positive life changer for so many students and staff. Lenny's leadership style is evident throughout the entire campus. He is the first person that students turn to when they are struggling behaviorally and academically. His enthusiasm and lighthearted sense of humor brings smiles to so many and his depth of knowledge and love for each student has already created a legacy. His passion for his campus students, families, and staff makes coming to work each and every day a joy. Rachel has been the librarian at Spercali for eight years and was a talented teacher for many years prior. She has created a legacy at Spercali by instilling a deep love for reading and learning through her library lessons and her support and encouragement of Accelerated Reader for all students. She recognizes and celebrates students who have read one million words, our millionaires. In addition, she lovingly cares for our beautiful school garden and leads the garden committee. Rachel is loving, dedicated, and kind. is the epitome of what a legacy is. Kathy came out of retirement to lead Tempe Elementary Online Academy. She makes a difference every day with her staff, families, and students. Her leadership allows her entire school community to become successful. Said her colleague, Jewel Valenzuela, she is happy to be here leading us and always wants the best for students, families, and teachers. She does whatever it takes. Alex has become a staple at Thu Elementary. She embodies kindness, empathy, and determination. Her classroom is the perfect learning environment for not only academic learning, but also emotional and social learning. The students speak with confidence because that is what she has taught them to do. This has created a legacy as this mentality will surely stay with her students in their future classes. Alex is somebody who treats her students like her family. She is consistently looking out for them and trying to do what is best for her class. Lori is an integral part of creating the middle school experience for Ward students. She is the middle school lead and is eager to create positive experiences for students. Lori is willing to take on every challenge asked of her with willingness and open-mindedness. She is very thoughtful about how she interacts with others and also knows she wants the team to move forward with growth and learning. She is very considerate of students, parents, and staff. Lori is an important part of Ward Traditional Academy.
Nancy has supported TD3 students, staff, and the community for three years in a variety of roles, all to an exceptional degree. Nancy has stepped into a key role at Wood Elementary School as the office manager. Nancy had the opportunity to attend Breakthrough Coaching and it has allowed her to help create effective systems that has had a positive impact on the entire Wood community. Said her colleague Jessica Larson, Wood Elementary School is exceptionally lucky to have Ms. Vargas managing the many tasks that are asked of her each and every day. Can we get a big round of applause for these amazing people? Congratulations to all of our winners. Um, I'm gonna invite some special guests who will join me in presenting our awards tonight. So first, if I can ask Governing Board President Charlotte Windsor to please join me down here at the podium. Um, and she'll be assisting with our awards. And then I would also like to invite um, Kathy Steven. She is our Thai Foundation Board President, and she's gonna be joining us as well this evening. So Kathy, please join us. Thank you for being here. I wanted to share a little bit about our Thai Foundation. So our Thai Foundation consists of caring volunteers that collaborate with community groups um, to foster excellence in our district, students, families, and educators by securing resources to empower them um, to accomplish their goals. They support our Connecting with Kids clothing bank that provides free clothing, food, hygiene items, backpacks, shoes, dental um, services, glasses, anything that our children need, they will provide for free. Um, they also provide scholarships for staff for continued education, and they support school fund requests for programs that support our students and staff. Um, Kathy and Ty had a little surprise, and their surprise is that they have a $100 gift card for every Tempe Elementary Excellence Award winner this year. I feel like I'm on a game show. This is so great. So <laughs> thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Ty, um, for your unwavering support. We, we just appreciate you and all that you do. So. Um, now I'll begin presenting our awards. I'll call your name, please come up. And then what we're gonna do, our photographers, Amy Garza, Gabby Dunton, they're gonna help put us all in this beautiful place so we can take a group photo at the end. So bear with us here. So are you ready to begin? Let's go. Our first award winner is from Aguilar Elementary, and that's Lisa Bishop, office manager. winners from Arredondo Elementary School and that is Caitlin Galowski, Student Achievement Specialist. From Broadmoor Elementary School we have Gail Castelli, first grade teacher. From Brogan Center, we have Gilbert Gonzalez, Fleet Manager. From Busos Professional Learning Center, we have Susan Kittle, Gifted Education Administrative Assistant. From Carminati Elementary School, we have Bonnie Kelsey, kindergarten teacher. Yeah. From Connolly Middle School, we have Deanna Salaya, sixth grade teacher. Yeah. 
from Curry Elementary, we have Michelle Fry, school counselor. From Fees College Preparatory Middle School, we have Sarah Lorenz, eighth grade science teacher, who I don't believe was able to join us. Okay. Sarah, unfortunately, is unable to be here tonight, but we do have from Frank Elementary School, Morgan Millick, fifth grade teacher. We also have from Fuller Elementary School, Nicole Flood, fifth grade teacher. From Get School, we have Teresa Beaton. 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 <laughs> Teresa. Teddy Fish teacher. From Holdeman Elementary, we have Jessica Clark, K3 Literacy teacher. From McKamey Academy of International Studies, we have one win, librarian. From Meyer Montessori, we have Elizabeth Petronic, music teacher. From Mosley Middle School, we have Anne Marie Heffernan, nurse. From Nevitt Elementary, we have Melissa Ellis Cachetta, SEALS teacher. From Rover Elementary School, we have Deb Brees, first grade teacher. Sanchez Administration Building, we have Brittany Franklin, Director of Strategic Partnerships yeah. and Communication. <laughs> Not awkward at all to introduce myself, but thank you, President Windsor. From Scales Technology Academy, we have Jenny Evashenko, SEALS teacher. School, we have Leonard Carl, assistant principal. From Spracali Elementary School, we have Rachel Trim, librarian. From Tempe Elementary Online Academy, we have Kathy Mullery, interim principal. From Thu Elementary School, we have Alex Martinez, first grade teacher. From Ward Traditional Academy, we have Lori Joseph, sixth to eighth grade language arts teacher. And from Wood Elementary, we have Nancy Vargas, office manager. And I believe she was also unable to join us. So congratulations again to all of our winners. I'm gonna jump in this group photo real quick. <laughs> if anyone wants to do a magic trick or play some music, I'm all game for that, but just give us one quick second, okay? Thanks. Where do you want me?
those of you wearing a badge, do you want me to take it off? I'll hold it for you. It's not necessary. Is there anything more? Thank you for following the protocol. huge thing in front of me. So <laughs> congratulations to everyone. Thank you. Well Thank deserved. You. you guys are all amazing and we appreciate all you do. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> Don't move. Yeah, do more comments. Yes. Yeah, we're good. You guys yeah. you can sit. <laughs> a quick moment I, I have to say all the thanks right so I just want to again thank all of our award winners I don't know about you but I'm personally just like overflowing with gratitude right now for everyone's love care compassion and and dedication to our kids and I truly feel like TD3 is a better community and a better place because of all of you so thank you thank you thank you um, I also have to thank my team um, Jade Anderson was in instrumental in helping organize this event Gabby Dutton made sure it was smooth and she always makes sure I'm doing the right things at the right time Amy Garza's our photographer extraordinaire Michael Kendaris he shares our stories via video um, I'd also like to thank our IT department. I don't, they're kind of downstairs, you don't see them, but Darren Gonzalez, Chris Long, Ben Teo, James Soto, Kendrick Knorr. Um, this couldn't happen without all of them. You just get to see me and listen to me and no one wants that, so thank you. I appreciate it. And then of course, thank you to our board members. We appreciate you and your support. Dr. Driscoll's unable to be here this evening, but we appreciate him and his support. And they're the reason why we're all back in person this year. So thanks for supporting this. And I'm sure the board has a few things they'd like to say, so don't leave yet. And then after they speak, you can get more cookies and take photos and have a good rest of your night. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Funerals, funerals and awards ceremonies are like my favorite because you get to hang out with so many fun people. So, <laughs> <laughs> Item four point, oh, actually, sorry. Thank you so much for all being here. It's been so much fun to have happiness in this room. And uh, you're welcome to stay. We've got an action-packed agenda full of consent items. But if you'd like to go home and get some rest, you're welcome to do that as well. Thank you very much.
Okay, item 4.01, we get to skip. There are no blue cards, so we're gonna jump right to 501. May I have a motion to approve tonight's consent agenda? So moved. Moved by Ms. Ewers and seconded by Ms. Trejo, right? Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, item passes 5-0. Mr. Mangini, you're up. Consent agenda, oh, not yet. Okay, hold on one second. While we're waiting, uh, I, we had a donation for Broadmoor for the, from Harkins for the Pop Stop truck experience, valued at over $1,300. And Holdeman, Mosley, and Scales all received um, snack bags for their McKinney Vento population for over $4,400 from Help Snacks. Mr. Mangini, time is yours. All right. Well, thank you, Madam President, members of the board. Great timing here. Uh, tonight, I'd like to highlight an individual that you approved on the personnel summary. Tonight, you approved Miss Melanie Kelly to the position of Director of Special Education. And I'd like to share a little bit about her background. Mel earned her bachelor's degree in special education from Arizona State University and a master's degree in educational leadership from Northern Arizona University. Mel brings with her over 25 years in special education, including roles as instructor of students with severe intellectual disabilities, instructor of students with autism, content specialist demonstration teacher, special education director for K-12 schools, and most recently as the special education director for secondary schools in the Mesa Public School District. Those who know Melanie best have shared that she is a highly respected educator, a servant leader, and her unwavering focus on the academic and social emotional needs of students with disabilities provides a shining example of what a special, special education leader should be. Mel is overjoyed to utilize her experience and knowledge to benefit the lives of our TD3 students, and we are confident that she will be an asset to our district. Congratulations, Mel Kelly. Good evening. Good evening, Madam President, members of the board, and uh, Dr. Driscoll is not here today. <laughs> but I am honored to accept the position of Special Education Director for TD3, and I would like to express my gratitude for entrusting me with this responsibility. As a dedicated educator with many years of experience refining and supporting systems in special education, I am aware of the successes and challenges that may come with this position. And I will do everything possible to serve this community and inspire excellence in all so students will reach their full potential. I look forward to collaborating with district leadership and our school teams to make a positive difference for students, educators, and staff here in TD3. Thank you so very much for this opportunity. Thank you. Would you like to introduce who you brought along with you tonight? I did. I have a big crowd here for me this <laughs> evening. So I'm going to start with my awesome husband, Matt Kelly. He's, uh, I come from a family of educators, so he's a uh, high school educator. My sister, Mary Alotti, a special educator, and her husband, Terry. My sister-in-law, Tracy Rodardi, a high school special educator. educator. My, my wonderful father-in-law, Jim Kelly, a 30-year educator. And then Ryder, my nephew. <laughs> And I have some of my former colleagues from uh, Mesa Public Schools that are no longer with Mesa Public Schools, Gretchen Kaiser, Eric Turner, and his wife, Al Alberta, Albertina um, Turner. So thank you so much for coming to support me. And I do have three adult children that were not able to be here tonight because they are in college or they're a mom. And I have a beautiful 18-month-old granddaughter. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're happy to have you. Um, item 6.01, any reports from standing committees tonight? I think we did that last time, correct? Okay. Item 7.01, board members, points of information. Yes, Ms. Trejo. Uh, just really quickly want to congratulate all of our uh, award winners tonight and want to wish a very happy birthday to Mike, 
Dreho back there, he comes every board meeting and just wanted to tell him happy birthday. And Miss yours. I just wanted to um, let everyone know that uh, I had spoken about us having a uh, mammogram truck at um, the Brogan Center on May 12th, and we were a little worried. We wanted everyone to participate, and it actually filled up, so we're extending the time. If you went on to sign up and it was full, we've extended it till five o'clock, so there's more space. So please get a hold of Sandra, and I wanted to tell all of you ladies, thank you for taking care of yourselves. Um, it's an important part of our health, and your health is important to us. So. Um, that was great news. I'm glad spring break, everyone came back with a smile on their face. I hope you all had a good one. And to all of the award recipients tonight, it just made me wanna go back to school. Like, gosh, how extraordinary our teachers and our staff are, and how lucky we are. If I got to choose, I'd come right back here. So congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Madam President. All right, and I actually wanna wish a happy birthday to our governing board groupie as well. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thanks for being one, at least one of the you know warm bodies in the audience. Yeah. Appreciate it. The smiles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, item 8.01 announcements. The honor choir will be held Friday, March 24th at 6 p.m. at Marcos Denisa High School. There will be an agenda committee meeting on Wednesday, March 29th at 11.30 a.m. The honor band and orchestra concert will be held Friday, March 31st at 6.30 p.m. at Tempe High School. The next regular Regularly scheduled governing board meeting will be Wednesday, April 5th at 7 p.m. with an executive session at 5.30 p.m. Um, in the Karen Arredondo governing board room. Spring holiday will be Friday, April 7th. All TD3 schools and district offices will be closed. The City of Tempe Courage Awards reception and recognition will be at the Tempe City Council meeting on Thursday, April 20th, beginning at 5.30 p.m. with council chambers at Tempe, within, excuse me, council chambers at Tempe City Hall. The Thai Foundation fundraiser will be held on Friday, April 28th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Tempe History Museum. Item 9.01, meeting adjournment. <laughs> pass the mic, pass the mic. <laughs> Thank you, Madam President. I motion to adjourn. I'll, I'll second. Moved by Mr. Miller and seconded by Ms. Trejo. All in favor? Aye. Aye, item passes 5-0, meeting is adjourned. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.